the Southern National Handicap Chase is next then. This is a three and a quarter mile 0 to 120 handicap, and the top one is Wildest Miles for Darren Thompson. Florence Nightingale, Paul Rhodes, Bucco Martin Liggum, Swindy Home, James Shea, Cad Bean, Ryan Costello, Trooper Craig Beckwith, and Vimiero Domini for Thomas Rogers. So just seven then this. What a small field. And three and a quarter miles the trip. The rain coming down, they're off and racing. And headed towards the first of the fences, which they've all got to, and they've all got over safely, and they've got 15 more to take. And it's Swindy Home, who's the early leader. We're on Florence Nightingale on the outside, and Cad Bean just tucked in between the two of them. But the field is pretty tightly grouped at this stage, and the seven of them are separated by no more than about five lengths as they take this turn around the outside of the track. And Florence Nightingale has gone on then now. By about a length to Swindy Home and Cad Bean, then Wider Smiles, the only grey in the field. Vimiero Domini on the outside of that one. Bucco furthest away from us. And the one closest to us at the back is Trooper. And they get to this ditch. And they're all over that one safely, though Bucco is a little bit ponderous. And Florence Nightingale takes them along in the lead, leading by a good two and a half to Wider Smiles in second. And Cad Bean is third, and Swindy Home is fourth. Troopers after that one to take this downhill fence. And they're all safe now for that one as well. And Florence Nightingale is in the lead. Not sure whether many of these will be Gold Cup banned. They might be a little lowly rated for the Gold Cup horses. Maybe more likely to be seen in the handicaps at Cheltenham come the end of the season. And they get over that one. And Cad Bean didn't jump it well at all. Gave it a bit of a wallop. And has dropped back a place or two as they come up past the stand then. another couple of times yet it's past the winning post for the first of three times and Florence Nightingale is the leader from the grey wider smiles in second and then Swindy home third cat being recorded from that mistake is fourth then comes Trooper Vimiero Domini and Bucco is still the back marker so the order's not changed much really apart from cat being dropping back a little bit and Florence Nightingale extending her lead which is clear oh, a good two lengths plus at this stage need to come down towards the next to the fences with the grey wider smiles in second this is the fifth and also if you have that bucko jump past Vimiero Domini at the back and there's really going to that one to last only a short run to the sixth which they're all safely over and Florence Nightingale continues to show the way wider smiles and Swindy home in Cadbean and Trooper as they get to number seven. A uh, mistake there by Bucco this time. We're going to see Vimiero Domini take the opportunity to get past him again. But it's Florence Nightingale in, in the lead still. With Wider Smile second and Swindy Home third. As they race towards the next again, this track a bit strange where they run around the outside rather than the inside. Looks like it would be particularly tight, wouldn't it? But it's Florence Nightingale in the lead by three now to Wilder Spars and Swindy Home running together in second. In Cad Bean and Trooper and Bucco and Vimiero Domini, the back marker as they come to this next ditch. The leader got over it well, but a slower jump. Got over it safely though, and still leads by two and a half. Swindy Home and Wilder Spars second and third. Cad Bean fourth, Bucco getting closer on the outside of Trooper and Vimiero Domini. Still the back marker as they take the downhill fence again. And another good jump that time by Bucco. Seems to either jump it really well or really poorly. But it's Florence Nightingale is still in front. Has been pretty much all the way. With Swindy Home second and Wilder Smiles third. They get over that next one. Another good jump by Bucco. Sees that one going to fourth. Vimiero Domini has dropped back. And he's now about three lengths detached as they caught past the stand again. And past the winning post shortly, and then out for one more circuit of the track. And Florence Nightingale will be hoping to still be in that position next time round. Leads by a good two lengths to Swindy Home in second, who's two lengths up on Cad Bean and Wilder Smiles. Then Bucco getting closer, Trooper getting closer as well. And then a good four five length gap back to the back marker, Vimiero Domini. But 
even in that one you wouldn't run out of it yet there's still a mile to go and there's still plenty of jumps to be taken and Florence Nightingale the jockey has a little look around see how far in front he is he's two lengths clear of Swindy Home as he races towards this next fence and there's a mistake there by Trooper and Bucko just when they were getting going they short one to the 12th and a good jump on the inside there by Swindy Home has seen that one come to challenge for the lead so Florence Nightingale now being challenged for the first time really by Swindy Home Cad Bean is back in third Trooper fourth then Wilder Smiles Bucco and Vimiero Dominique have got work to do as they take the 13th they've got three more fences to take then now and it's Florence Nightingale still in the lead by half a length to Swindy Home in second then Cad Bean is third Trooper is fourth then Wilder Smiles is fifth difficult to see the back two getting into it but it's Florence Nightingale Nightingale in the lead. Florence Nightingale leads in. Man, she's quickly gone too clear again now as they begin to swing towards the next. It's Florence Nightingale in the lead. Two, two and a half lengths clear of Swindy Home. Trooper is in third. Cat Bean is in fourth. Then comes Wilder Smiles. Booker and Vimiero Dominia towards the back. And it's Florence Nightingale in the lead still by three now. Then we've just three to take. This is the third last final ditch. Over it they go. And it's Florence Nightingale. Two clear of Swindy Home. It's surely between these two. Trooper and Wilder Smiles are trying to run on they've still got two and a half furlongs and two jumps to take and it's Florence Nightingale by two to Swindy Home in second then Trooper and Wider Smiles over the second last they go mistake by Trooper surely sees that one out of it now it's Florence Nightingale in the lead still by two looking like she's probably only got to jump the final fence it's Florence Nightingale in front Florence Nightingale from Swindy Home in second Florence Nightingale racing there towards the final fence comes to it pops over it nicely good jump though by Swindy Home on the inside Swindy Home is thrown out a big challenge and Swindy Home is beginning to get up on the inside. Heart wrapped for Florence Nightingale. Swindy Home races up the line and takes it. Swindy Home wins it. Florence Nightingale is a brave second. Third wider smalls. Then Trooper and then Bucco. And finally, Cad Bean and Viviero dominate. And Swindy Home stole it on the running. After Florence Nightingale did all the donkey work. They had pretty much all the way. And looked all over the winner coming to the last. But Swindy Home has swindled Florence Nightingale out of it with a good run up the inside so Swindy home for James Show the winner Florence Nightingale Paul Rose second Wada Smiles for Darren Thompson was third Trooper for Craig Beckwith was fourth and Bucco was fifth